Hello, this week we're going to be over how to add a slideshow to any page using Portfolio Slideshow Plugins. Another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress, and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to our business, put, put you in the fast link to success. Uh, play more on our website at startcompetingcom slash tutorials. You can also subscribe to us on YouTube or just sign up for our weekly newsletter where we'll just let you know that we've released a new tutorial and what it's all about. Uh, if at any time you want to skip ahead, if you already have the plugin, you're trying to just skip past a certain mile. Uh, milestone, there's a table of contents down below. Why don't we just go ahead and get started. Um, first thing I want to do is go to the dashboard. Um, I have demoed a few other um, plugins that do this type of thing and then and one was better than the other. I This is the best I've seen so far because one, you know, didn't it was flash, didn't work on on certain mobile applications uh, on phones and then the other one was just a lot big much more of a pain to add to the page just because you had to add each uh, photo individually which is just not fun all right so like I said we're just gonna go add new you're gonna search portfolio slideshow all right, so copy that right in there search plugins Okay, so what you're going to do is just hit, okay, so Portfolio Sideshow, make sure it's by Ray Gun, or Ray Gun. <laughs> just hit install. Activate. And once you've acti activated that, you'll have a, um, portfolio slideshow on the left menu for your options. So let's just scroll down and go down to um, let's see settings. Yeah, go to settings and then portfolio slideshow. Alright. Now you can you can change these if you want. Um, slideshow size, medium. This is if you don't use the short codes that kind of um, kind of help you do different different uh, sizes and stuff. So let's just say if you just use a general short code, we'll just say it's medium. Um, fade uh, or scroll horror. I always use fade. Uh, you can play around with these settings on your own if you want. Um, I prefer not to show titles, captions, or descriptions. If you do want to show those, all you have to do is check the box that you want to show them. And then as you e edit each image, you need to update that information. Timing. Uh, 4,000 milliseconds, um, basically four seconds. So if you want to make it longer or shorter, you can. Uh, I always, I prefer to enable autoplay. Um, exclude feature and images from the slideshow. I'm not sure why you would need to, um, but if you wanted to, that's how you could do it there. Uh, show loading animation, uh, that drives me insane. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but if you want it to show, you can. Loop in the slideshow. Yeah, it's just gonna restart the slideshow once it goes all the way through. Um, clicking on a slideshow image will advance the slideshow, so clicking on it will just bring them to the next um, the next slide. Okay, so keep going. Navigation position, top, bottom, disabled. Uh, why don't we just say, let's leave it at top for now. Pager, disabled. Pager position, what's that? Where should the slideshow pager appear? Let's just leave it in the bottom for now. Save your changes. Now what we're going to do is um, we're going to need to add it to a page. Um, these are driven by short codes. To get the short codes, if you see in the settings right here, up on the top, there's documentation. Just click on that. Uh, they made an awesome little demo for themselves. So if you don't like my demo, then you can watch theirs. And um, one way or the other, you will get, get it down right. So as we move on, you see these different attributes that they have. Uh, portfolio side show, height, for, you can change the height, you can change this, speed you can change on, because you can add multiple slideshows to multiple different pages. So it is likely that not every single slideshow in your WordPress website is gonna be the same exact size. Um, and that's all stuff that as you become a, a master at using this uh, portfolio slideshow, you're going to get the hang of. For now, let's just stick to the basics, get one slideshow on one page. Go to that page that you want to add it to. On our site, we're going to add it to our About Us page. All right, so I'm going to click to that page. I'm going to hit Edit Page. 
All you, all you need to do is get, get photos attached to that page. To do that, hit Upload Insert. Okay, I'm just going to let that load. So I already have eight in my gallery. So I don't need to add a whole lot right now, but I will add a couple just for my computers so you can see what you need to do to get them all to start showing up in here. All right, so I'm just going to go from computer. And if you just hit the upload insert button, it'll automatically go to this. I'll select some files from my page. Uh, let's see, I'll uh, check off these two. All right. And you notice I'm adding these now, and up here it's already adding it to the gallery. So there's nine photos total in the gallery. That's all I need to do. Now that we've put added our images um, to the, our, and it goes into the gallery, hit X. And now, keeping in the HTML view, you might be okay putting it in the visual view, but just to play it safe, keep it in the HTML. Add your brackets, do portfolio, slideshow. Believe that is the right plugin. I do apologize if it's not. I'm trying to remember it off the top of my head. All right, so just portfolio slideshow on those brackets. Now let's view the page. Alright, there it is. Okay. And that's what the standard slideshow will look like. Um, it'll have little thumbnails down here. Uh, you remember I chose medium sized pictures. If I go back to the settings, let's. Now that you just know the basics, you can kind of go nuts, but. Um, I'll just use a little time at the end of this tutorial to play around with the slideshow since this is a new plugin to me. I love it. I think it's great and um, I think you'll like it too. So let's just play around a little bit with it. All right. So you remember I showed size, slideshow size medium. Let's just go um, large and see what that does. Okay. There we go. See? Now you can see that it actually fills up the page. It looks a little bit better. Um, you know, I do like how it has, it shows you a little preview of each image if you wanted to look at them. That's pretty neat. Um, I actually do like that, but let's say, you know, this is a home page slideshow and you don't want to take up a whole, whole bunch of um, great space that you could be using. Let's see how we, if we can get that out of there. So. First, I'm going to see what happens. I'll um, navigate position. Let's disable it. Okay, so that's disabled. Refresh. Okay, so what that did was it took out that those things up at the top that said next, last. Uh, I think that's good. I didn't really like how those looked anyway. So now I actually like the plug this a lot more. Let's see what else we got for. Um, options. Alright, page or position. I believe that is these little thumbnails here, which is what I want to get rid of. Let's um, disable those. Refresh. There you go. Now you're left with just a slideshow. So this is really neat because in addition to getting a standard kind of slideshow that will work on all the phones, add a bunch of pictures easily to each page, different short codes to customize, uh, you have some options to kind of add some some of those pager, they call them, thumbnails. Uh, you can add different navigation. I really like this plugin. I think it's pretty neat and um, I think it'll look great on your website.